Storytelling, it's in our blood. It brings us hunters together. In this age of video, there's nothing left for the imagination. It's time to get back to our heritage and share the stories of the hunt. Hello, this is Nathan Nelson, and I want to tell you the story of my very first buck with a rifle. Now this hunt goes back to 2003 in my very first season of hunting as a 12 year old in Wisconsin. So this was my second deer that I had ever killed. And it was actually out of the exact same stand that I killed my first deer in. I was using a 308 rifle on this hunt. It was a youth sized rifle. And I had been passing up several younger bucks up to this point in the season. It was November 26th on this day. So I was holding out for a good one. When we were getting to about that golden hour of the night, I ended up catching a glimpse of this deer walking through the, the brush, and I knew right away, that's the buck I want to shoot. Unfortunately, he took a, a dive down the hillside, and I thought right away, oh man, I just messed up my opportunity at this buck. But fortunately, he was following after two does, and he ended up circling back around and came right in front of me at 20 yards. I pulled up my gun, put the crosshairs right on that shoulder, pulled the trigger, and it was a perfect shot. The buck ended up bounding off about 30 yards and that's where he ended up expiring. It was just an incredible memory. I had my uncle come out at that point and he ended up helping me re uh, recover the deer and get it gutted out and we brought it home and my mom got some footage of me with the deer. Come over Nathan way. got this during Gun season. Yeah, he shot him right in the heart and blew his lungs apart. Get, get on Did the other you side. really? Wow. This is, this is the other one that I shot with a bow. Okay. And let me see this guy. Wow, another eight pointer, huh? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, man. Congratulations. Yeah. This one's a little bigger than this one. It is, huh? Yeah. But this one probably has a bigger body than this one. This one's probably about 160, my other one was 187. Gee, you won't oh. be able to eat beef anymore. <laughs> well, the other, down the, to other, eat. the other, my, this deer, we didn't find it the first day, so we had to throw out all the meat because it was uh -uh. really bad. I'll have to tell Aunt Shirley you got a lot of venison. That is so exciting. So we get, Grandma and Grandpa, why don't you get in there with Nathan? That's pretty nice. That's my hero. <laughs> yeah. Wow. To shoot, because he wanted to shoot one bigger than that. This is he passed up nine bucks to shoot that buck. Mm -hmm. and We're gonna put this in my scrap saving book. box. Scrap yeah. Are you all done now? It's yep, I'm all, all done. Days. You got no well, I got those tags, but I have to go to a T-zone place. Oh. <laughs> okay. He was walking with. Not bad for a twelve-year-old, huh? Oh. What a season. That will forever be my favorite childhood video. If you couldn't tell, I was a little nutso about deer hunting already at 12 years old. So if you notice the plaque that we have these antlers mounted on, we actually had a guy in our area paint the story of this hunt so you can see that the buck is following the two does. This deer ended up scoring 100 inches right on the dot, so he was a little bit bigger than my first buck, which was kind of the trend that I wanted to go in. I wanted to get bigger bucks every single time. So quite an impressive buck for the big woods. For my very first deer, I was really happy with it. Mm -hmm.